Here in front of me, I want to show you copper. Not just any ordinary copper, but mirror polished copper. These uh, 10 millimeter cubes are polished on all six sides highly enough that it's fully reflective. And uh, these things are just gorgeous. They do cost more than the normal polish cubes. Uh, I have one here to the side as a comparison, but you can see that uh, they're the same size and everything, but one is much more reflective than the other, which just has a brush metal look. And um, unfortunately, you're going to be paying three, four, five times as much uh, for that level of finish. And it's because uh, these cubes are put in what's called, uh, I almost dropped there, uh, a lapping machine. Uh, this is a, a, a special polisher that takes a long time to uh, get, get this uh, level of polishing done. You can do it by hand, but then you lose those super sharp corners. Uh, and that's not cool. What you want is to have your cake and eat it too. You want these, the very, very sharp edges that make this look so cool. And at the same time, you want it to be as reflective as possible. So they, it has to go into a, a computer controlled uh, polishing machine that slowly eats away at the surface with um, very fine grit. And I learned the other day that this is a process that takes several days. That explains why you're paying so much more uh, for the mirror versions of these cubes. Uh, and uh, our precious metal cubes now come standard uh, with mirror polishing because the extra expense, which varies somewhere between, I don't know, $30 or so, uh, for metal up to some specialty metals are much more but with precious metals since they're already so expensive why not go the extra mile and and show them uh, in their best form uh, some people actually prefer the 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 brush metal look because uh, you know well, hey uh, it's a taste thing but um, I, I I do think that there is something to be said for having the uh, the the reflective surfaces it just looks astonishing fortunately copper is a metal that will tarnish in air slowly uh, if anybody's ever seen uh, a copper statue you know the statue of liberty it looks green that's because in open air it slowly you know turns black and then eventually green however you can keep these looking uh, coppery by just keeping them in in under a container that has a lid so that's basically sealed shut in, in, in storage and that will uh, help preserve them also you don't want to hold them with your bare hands because the the acids and oils in your fingers will uh, very quickly stain the uh, copper and copper is one of the ones that uh, is affected the most by that uh, other metals you don't, you know, you can pick up, say, iron or um, uh, pretty much all the other cubes that we offer in this form with your bare hands and no big deal. But copper is very susceptible to tarnishing that way. Uh, so if you do hand them, handle them with your bare fingers, what you want to do is at least have uh, wash your fingers prior so that you can, uh, you know, that, that soap can get rid of the oils that would otherwise tarnish the cubes. So anyway, I don't want to keep going on and on about this. Uh, if you have any questions that I couldn't think of in this uh, little video clip, let me know and I'll be glad to answer. This is Raciel for Luciteria.